suppose you start by sending the cars out of the assembly area onto the, <laughs> onto the grid. There's the Cousy, which is a very bizarre uh, piece of equipment, a French uh, machine. Lots of young fans <laughs> at the period Tesco's uh, supermarket. Just about got the, uh, J, uh, the JP prototype going. Wow, that start from uh, David Woodhouse was good. He went uh, rocketing up through past a couple of cars there. They went away. But it was George Shackleton, Nigel Ashman, Sam Wilson who uh, kind of set the pace early on. Jostling for position all the way. And uh, Peter Delaroche already exploring outside lines and uh, unconventional parts of the circuit, which uh, is new to him this weekend. So uh, just uh, brilliant. They come up, they came up behind the bond, and uh, at that point, Nigel Ashburn was just ahead. There wasn't much room between the bond and the side of the circuit. Sam Wilson trying to um, tag back on after a, uh, what appeared to be a gear change problem at St Mary's at one point. Shackleton with his hand under the belly of the car. Ashburn didn't like being uh, squeezed onto the grass, but he kind of put himself into uh, half a gap that was diminishing. Comes up the outside and rounds George Shackleton at the kink on the Lavin straight. Of course, after the uh, incident down at the chicane here, the safety car was summoned. Three minutes was added to the race. As people with their motor cars now probably wish it hadn't been. Shackleton then led through onto the final lap, and at that point, I know that's the uh, that's the bit where uh, Nigel Ashman went round. But Shackleton led onto the final lap from Sam Wilson and uh, Peter De La Roche. But by this stage, it's down to two cars. George Shackleton doing exactly what he should do, hanging on to the inside, just trying to command the circuit through the bit where the, uh, it appears to narrow before Woodcock Corner the Shell building. But uh, Peter De La Roche was not to be outflanked there, and he summoned all his bravado to get ahead. Just had enough room to turn into the chicane. Slightly double pecked at the uh, last apex of the chicane did uh, George Shackleton and that was a big, big impact into the wall. But he went back across right in front of his teammate and uh, narrowly missed uh, hooking David Woodhouse off. Peter De La Roche is our race winner.